Hi, today I want to show you how to quickly lay out your UVs inside of ZBrush with the help of uh, the UV Master and an external software package. In my case I will be using Maya, but you can use any other software packages such as 3D Max, Blender, etc. Uh, here I have uh, prepared the model uh, that we will be UVing today. And let's get started by sending it to Maya uh, with the Go Z button. Okay, now that we're inside of Maya, you can see that I don't have any UVs laid out. Uh, first step is to create a planar mapping. This will give us just the base shell uh, for the map to work with. So I just hit planar, and there we have we have a base shell. Uh, the next step is to make some cuts in the model in order to be able to unfold it. Uh, what I usually do is uh, I create a scene in a place of the least interest or where it's not visible. Uh, so I think I will just go for the back, the back of the neck, and we'll select until the forehead and make a cut there. If you try to lay out, if you try to unfold the UVs right now, it will not really give us a good result in my a result in my. So let's um, send it back to to ZBrush and continue to unfold it there. So now I have the model inside of ZBrush with the the UVs that we already established, and we will use the UV master. Uh, here we want to select symmetry if your model is symmetrical and uh, make sure to check this option use existing UV seams. Hit unwrap and our model should be unwrapped. Let's go back to Maya. Okay, so the UVs are now laid out, and as you can tell from the UV editor. Uh, they look pretty good. The only thing to do is to flip it vertically because ZBrush for some reason uh, flips the UVs. So we flip it vertically and let's put on some checkers on it so we can see what's going on. We'll assign the checker pattern. And as you can see we got a pretty good result. There are some stretching in the lips and the nose, um, so you can further refine it manually, but in general I think it does a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and just take this area where there's more stretching going on in UVs. We'll select some of these UVs here and go to unfold and make sure this maximum iteration is not really high. I usually set about 10 or um, something in that area. Um, if it's a thousand, it may like, unfold it really far. So hit apply and it seems we got our, our fix here. So there you have it. Um, all the UVs are unfolded now and we're good to go. I see the texturing.